Mobile Fire Rescue today is getting a new training tool. This 300-foot Boeing 737 fuselage was moved from Mobile's downtown airport to the Mobile Fire Rescue Training Center. That's where we're joined by Local 15's Darwin Singleton. And Darwin, this fuselage will be used for fighting fires in confined spaces and also for medical training. It will be, and part of the uh, excitement about getting this useful piece of equipment is what it's becoming, is the journey to get it here. Right behind me now, I'm going to step out of the way. You can see, once again, this uh, 737, Boeing 737, without wings, has taken to the air again, thanks to GA West, which is a company that has volunteered its time and, and probably expense to get this plane here. It is actually in air right now, thanks to that crane being lowered onto some ports, so some support, and I'm going to bring Chief uh, Randy Smith, our interim chief, here to talk about what this plane is doing here. And Chief, what is this plane doing here? <laughs> well, we're going to start utilizing it for training. Uh, thanks to our special operations group led by Chief Cooper uh, with Mobile Airport Authority and the assistance of GA West, we've been able to get this plane brought here. We're going to utilize it not only for crash rescue training, uh, we're hoping to become one of the only certified training agencies with inside the state of Alabama to uh, teach crash rescue firefighting. Which is good because if we have more agencies in our area, not just Mobile, learning how to handle situations in aircraft, that means we're better protected. Oh, of course, of course. And the plane's got multiple uses. We can utilize it for mass casualty incidents. The police department can utilize it for law enforcement functions, search and rescue type functions. So the the scope is going to be amazing. What we'll be able to do. And it with just this. looks good here. It does. All right, I'm going to bring Dee in here, uh, District Chief Dee Cooper. I'm going to bring him over here, and uh, Trey Place is here as we continue to look at this facility. This I call it a facility because it is. It's, it's a classroom for you guys, right? And yes, sir. okay, tell me a little bit about the trip to get it here. Was really. Well, that was part of the, the journey, wasn't it, it trying to get this thing through the streets? It was no small accomplishment. Uh, like I said it took a joint effort between several city departments and a lot of, of uh, private businesses to make this happen. Police department, fire department, public buildings, uh, urban forestry, traffic engineering, Wow. GA West kicked in, you know, uh, AT&T, Comcast Cable. And I even moved my news car to get it out of the way so you guys could get it here, so I even helped. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Well, we're excited to see what happens from here on out. It came from Brookley Field, right, and then came here from there, yes, right? Yes, Okay, yes. and you're going to see part of that journey tonight at 5 and 6. Well, actually, I'm going to try to turn some video around we got of it coming down Michigan Avenue and show that to you at 1230 on our 1230 newscast, so stay right where you are. It's fascinating to watch an airplane coming down Michigan Avenue uh, for a good reason. And we'll show you that coming up in just a few minutes, Pat. All right, thanks a lot, Darwin.